Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you about oils that you you can use to get rid of different kinds of bugs. And I'm going to share with you what bugs it, uh, I'm talking about. <clears throat> and uh, tell you what the oils are and then we'll go from there. How many of you get ants in the kitchen uh, around the sink and windows and things every year? I do. Anyway, you can use peppermint and spearmint. And you can put them, put like a few drops of peppermint and a few bro drops, not drops, two drops of peppermint and spearmint on cotton ball and get my sneeze. And then, and then, um, after you you put the drops of peppermint and spearmint on cotton ball, place it in the areas where the main most bunches of ants that you see, like if you can find the, the entrance way or where they get in and then where they stop. Just put some, a few cotton balls here and there. Corner both sides of the windows. Uh, they will go to that and it'll kill them. Peppermint spearmint. Okay, if you have aphids out in your garden, aphids, I mean, <clears throat> cedarwood, hispis, and, and peppermint. Mix them together in a small bottle, like a, depends on how many plants you have with them on it. Mix a little bit of your uh, water cup, uh, uh, I don't know how many ounces, I'd use like a 16 ounce bottle. Put your cedarwood, 10 drops cedarwood, 10 drops Hispis and Tim drops peppermint, mix them together, fill it up with water, and then spray uh, the bottom of the leaves and the top where the where the bugs are at. That way you can get their eggs as well, because they'll hide their eggs underneath. In case you didn't know, take that leaf and turn it over, and you can see all the little. Try to get them off, but I'd spray them, and they'll die and fall off. <clears throat> and then beetles, you use peppermint and thyme. Mix those together and spray it right on the beetles with your mix it with water. And then for caterpillars, if you want to get rid of caterpillars, it's, it's spearmint and peppermint, just like the ants, but don't put it on cotton balls. You want to spray it. Chiggers, how many of you have children that likes to roll around in the grass or crawl around and play in the yard? You know, and they come in and their legs are all itchy and their arms are itchy because they're rolling around in the grass. I know I was one of those kids when I was growing up. And if you stand there in the garden too long, those triggers will get around your ankles. And they'll go up anywhere where there's a moist, warm area, you know. They'll go. Like, right where your leg's been, in the private area, triggers will go there too. Triggers go around the ankles. And they'll, they'll go in, in those warm areas. To get rid of triggers, you use lavender. Lemongrass, uh, sage, and thyme. Mix it together and spray it on your ankles, especially your ankles. That help keep them off of you. And then if you if you just sprinkle it around the areas where you don't want the fleas to go. But I I, I would say uh, on your ankles would be best. Okay, fleas. Uh, you can spray peppermint, lemongrass, and spearmint, and lavender all mixed together, and it helps with fleas. Um, I don't think you want to put the uh, peppermint on cats, but I believe the lemongrass, spearmint, and, and lavender would, would work. But I wouldn't put it on animals and you, until you know for sure that it won't harm them, because I don't want you saying, well, you said it was okay, you know. I'm not telling you anything's okay. I'm just telling you what I found recipe for. So it's up to you whether you take that and use it or whether you don't. Uh, I've never experienced it yet. I've never did it. So I can't say for sure uh, it, how good it is. I'm just giving it to you. And you go and take it and do what you want with it. <clears throat> and if I've tried it before, I'll let you know. Like for instance, the ants. I've tried and it does work. It detours them and then they, they go and back to their place and die. Okay, Flea, flies. Lavender, peppermint, rosemary, and sage. Mix those together and they detour the flies and they, you don't have to worry about the flies anymore. My eye just Gnats. 
is patchouli and spearmint. I don't know what that smells like together. Now, if you have a diffuser and you have a problem with flies or gnats in your house, you can set that diffuser in the area where the pesties bugs are at. Put those oils in the diffuser and just let the diffuser go. And then the this the it'll get rid of the gnats and flies. Who knows, might even work for the ants too. Uh, let's see, what was that? Mosquitoes, lavender, and lemongrass. Just put it on your body when you go out to work in the garden. Or, uh, you know, it'll help get rid of the mosquitoes, keep them away from you. But we also, yep, I, I was going to say we also have uh, insect repellent with no deep, which really works, that they sell as well, which is really nice. But that's not why I was on here for. I got little squirrely and started thinking about other things. I'm just talking about the bugs and the oils that works on the bugs or to get rid of the bugs let's see moths cedarwood hispus lavender peppermint and spearmint are the oils that work to get rid of moths mix them together you can spray them on your on your cabbage leaves on broccoli wherever those moths might be that help get rid of them so you can have better vegetables uh, plant lice peppermint and spearmint Play it, play it, spray it on the bug and kill it. Slugs. Now, I have always used salt on slugs. I like watching them deteriorate when you pour the salt on the slugs. But to get rid of slugs, if you're using oils, use cedarwood, hispus, and pine. Mix them together and spray it on there. They're gone. Snails. Cedarwood, pine, and patchouli. Mix that together, spray it on it and get rid of snails. Uh, spiders. Peppermint and spearmint. And you can put that on a cotton ball and put that in the areas where you find spiders. In closets or wherever you might have them. Some places are worse than others. Ticks. And if you have ticks, you can put lavender, lemongrass, sage, and thyme. And that helps get rid of of the ticks now there's I will find the recipe I will ask around uh, someone mentioned a recipe you can put on uh, if a tick has embedded in it into your skin and is actually sucking the blood what you can put around that tick which will make it pull its head out and you don't have to worry about its head staying in you and when it pulls its head out then you can kill him kill him the rest of the way I hate ticks <laughs> and they go in the weirdest places sometimes anyway then and the last but not least is weevils w e e v i l s I'm not for su even for sure what that is but weevils is cedarwood patchouli and sandalwood mix them together and spread on the weevil uh, that's the bugs that I found and the oils that it said to use for those bugs. Uh, if if you if you don't remember, just rewatch the video, and it'll tell you what oils it is. And if you need to use the oils, you can either order them or or uh, or not order them. But I'll put the 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 link that you can click on to get in and and. Uh, check out these oils and see how much they are if you do want to order it you can go ahead and order it right there you don't even have to mess with me you can just go on there and look at what you want see it and order and it don't cost anything to go in and look you just click on it and go in and as a visitor you can look at everything but if you want to become a member you get 45 percent off of anything in the virtual office that you that you see on there that you can buy and they have over 200 different items that you can shop for I'm sure it's more than 200 but that's all I have for you today the oils for getting rid of some bugs so find your bug you don't want get your oil that goes with it get rid of it I hope you have a wonderful day I see you guys tomorrow ta-ta for now